my name is Matt. I'm uh, jumping into the uh, vinyl collection community. Uh, this is my first video. I figured I would start with my collection and show you guys what I have so far. Um, basically, my inspiration behind this is um, Vinyl Fury, who has a great channel. Um, so. Um, Thanks for uh, you know inspiring me, I guess, to, to jump into the community. I did this with video games for a while, but now I'm jumping in with vinyl. I've been collecting for about two or three months now. I um, have about, uh, about 20 records, I guess, so far. Um, so I'll jump right into it. I tried to record this earlier, but it was too long. Um, I'll start with my uh, EPs. Um, this is uh, the Soft Moons uh, latest EP. Um, I actually forget what it's called. Uh, I don't really like it much, but um, yeah. It's cool to have. Actually, the coolest part about it is is the vinyl itself. Um, it's clear, which is pretty cool. I love getting uh, you know different color vinyl. I mean, I like black, but um, I love the uh, when you open it up and, and you get a nice surprise of um, of you know a different color vinyl. It's always cool. Uh, next is Beach Fossils. Um, this is the Shallow and Lessons EP. Well, That's one of my favorite bands right now. They're really, uh, they're like dream poppy. Um, they're from uh, Captured Tracks, as is Soft Moon. And the last, um, uh, the next one also is uh, a band called Dive. Um, this is uh, Human, their Human EP. Um, they've since changed their name. Uh, I guess the spelling of their name. They used to be Dive, the traditional um, spelling. Now it's D I I V. They actually came out with a, a album earlier this year um, that's in my collection but uh, really good uh, little EP and um, this is Wild Nothing another dream pop band uh, on Capture Tracks it's a Brooklyn based uh, indie label uh, this has Shadow and Fill You Now um, this is uh, from another uh, this is an EP from uh, Jack Tatum's uh, recent um, Nocturne EP which I actually have in my collection those are my four quick um, EPs uh, to the uh, LPs, uh, this is um, the XX Coexist, um, came out earlier, uh, I think actually in September, really awesome uh, trio from uh, from England, definitely uh, one of my favorite albums so far of, of 2012. Uh, I picked this up the other day in uh, in Brooklyn when I was visiting my, my sister and her boyfriend. Um, this is uh, John Lennon's Plastic Ono Band. Um, some guy was just on the street with two big tables uh, selling some vinyl, so I uh, I picked this up for ten bucks, and I also picked up from him for fifteen uh, the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour. Um, this is the original, uh, you know, late sixties um, album, not a reprint or anything like that. It's it's pretty beat up, but um, for fifteen bucks I couldn't really pass it up. It's one of my favorite Beatles albums, to be honest. Um, this is uh, the Gaslight Anthems, 59 Sound. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, um, I like a little, uh, I'm not going to call them a punk rock band, but, you know, they have that that flavor of a, uh, you know, of a, I don't even, like, for me, it's like a mix of, like, 50s and uh, and, and punk rock. But uh, definitely like it. I think it's their best work. I think this is, they just released their third uh, full length. And I think they've gotten gradually worse, but um, this is a very solid album, in my opinion. <coughs> um, Japan Droids, Celebration Rock. Uh, this is uh, a great album, actually. Uh, it's just two guys, guitar and drums, just rock and roll. Uh, very fun, very energetic album. Uh, just a lot of fun to listen to. They have, uh, I think, an earlier album, which I haven't checked out yet. Um... This is uh, Modest Mouse's Good News for People Who Love Bad News. Um, this isn't their best album. I, I still think it's really solid. Um, it has some of my favorite Modest Mouse songs on it. Um, but I definitely, uh, you know, there's, there's, they have better um, albums. Uh, the Lonesome Crowded West, uh, is that what it's called? I always forget the names of their previous albums. Uh, let me check right now. The Lonesome Crowded, I think it's... We had Lonesome Crowded West and then the Moon in Antarctica, which is uh, probably their best work. Um, they've gotten gradually worse since um, uh, those those two albums, which I just mentioned, but still really good. I think people are a little too hard on this album. I think it's I think it's very good. Uh, Beach Fossils. I mentioned them earlier. This is their full length. Um, what a pleasure EP from 2011. Um, just very nice to listen to. Very very fun and very uh, you know I, I like it a lot. <laughs> It's just it's nice to listen to. 
Uh, same thing with Wild Nothing. Like I said earlier, I have the EP from this album, but then I, I picked up the, the full length. Um, the cool thing about this, it has different artwork on the inside, so you can you can choose, I guess, your cover, which is pretty cool. Um, again, just kind of some dream synth pop, which is which is really good. It's really what I've gotten into over the last couple months. Uh, this is Death Care for Cutie, uh, Death uh, Plans, uh, my favorite album by them. Really got me into, um, you know, when, when I was in my high school years, still listening to heavier stuff. Uh, I started listening to, to Death Cab, and, and they got me um, off that path and towards mellow stuff. And this is my favorite uh, album by them. Uh, a lot of good stuff, um, you know. I'll follow you into the dark, and Summer Skin is probably my two, my favorite uh, song by them. Uh, this is a uh, uh, double LP, which is which is nice. Um, it has a nice feel to it. It's pretty heavy. Got my money's worth for sure. Um, this is Bone of Years, uh, Forever Forever Ago. I actually like this. I prefer this album over um, his self-titled from 2011, uh, Justin Vernon. Um, I just think it's it's just so solid. It's just so real. It's raw. And um, I, I personally think it's better than, than his most recent, but um, you know that's still a fantastic album, which I have to. My sister owns that, so I have to. I still have to pick that up. But um, love um, that album. Uh, for my punk rock days, uh, I have Anti Flag, A New Kind of Army. This is uh, the 2005 reprint of the, I think the 1998 or 1999 um, release. Uh, I I still love this album. Um, you know. Some music when you listen to as as a kid back uh, I'm 24 now so I started listening to these guys probably when I was about 14 or 15. Um, some of that music you know from from that time in your life doesn't really age well but um, I don't know for some reason I, I've always still really enjoyed listening to Anti Flag. Uh, since then they've gotten pretty pretty bad. Uh, they're more just like an alt rock band now. Um, but this is uh, you know definitely one of my favorites. And it's actually my favorite album by them. But uh, this is Arcade Fires, The Suburbs. Uh, funny story about this, it's, it's pretty beat up as you can see. Uh, last weekend I was in an Urban Outfitters with my girlfriend and uh, I was going through their record collection, uh, record selection, which was actually pretty decent, I was, I was kind of shocked. Um, but this was there for 20 bucks, um, and then when I re when they rang it up it was only 10 and I was shocked, I was blown away, because this goes for 25, 30 bucks online. And then when I got home, uh, it's, a, it's a dual LP album, but one of the uh, LPs was missing. Uh, so I, I really uh, only got half the album for 10 bucks. So I don't know. Maybe I'll see if I can complete it by grab, you know, by ordering the, the uh, another one. But that probably won't happen. Um, this is another uh, Wild Nothing uh, album. This is uh, Golden Haze. Um, it, it's it's not a full length, but it has. It's got four. I guess it's more of a. Uh, it's a. It's an LP, but it's it's only got four tracks. So I guess it's technically I guess an EP, but uh, same same as the other stuff. I'm not gonna beat that horse again. Um, this is Real Estate Days, uh, probably my favorite album of 2011. It's uh, it's a blast to listen to. Um, so just just relaxing, I guess is the best word to use. Um, the whole the whole album is just is just solid. Um, so you know, it's uh, it's just you know nice, easy listening rock. Um, I've I've seen it described as surf rock. Um, there are some songs that that remind me of like a like you know 60s pop. But um, just so so relaxing, really brings you back, makes you feel like you're in summer. Um, it's great. Definitely uh, recommend it. Uh, Radiohead's OK Computer, fantastic album. I think it's probably their best work. It's not my favorite by them, but um, I think it's regarded as their best work. Um, this is a double LP. Um, very, uh, very cool. Just very, has a industrial cold feeling to it just even the artwork on the front this is a this is really when when radiohead turned the corner from just being an alt band an alt rock band to you know the radiohead that we know today a lot of sound effects a lot of um overproduction and stuff like that but it's great i mean so many great songs on here airbag um paranoid android uh no surprises one of my favorite radiohead songs of all time so um you know this came out in 97 um, and it's still regarded as just one of the best albums in the last 20 years and it's easy to see why. Um, In Currents by the early November. This is a band that I was really into when I was a kid, when I was a teenager. Um, they broke up for about five years and got back together. Um, not as good as their old stuff, in my opinion, but it just could be my my, my taste have changed. Uh, they definitely grown, um, you know. But uh, it's it's good. It's it's a solid, just you know, alternative rock um, album. 
It's nice to listen to, but I definitely didn't get into it as much as I, I thought I was going to. Um, it does have a cool colored vinyl, though. Uh, Abbey Road by the Beatles. Um, not my favorite Beatles record, but uh, it's regarded as one of the best. Um, it's got Come Together, Something, um, Here Comes the Sun, which is probably maybe my favorite um, Beatles song. But uh, this is the reprint um, from 2008, I think it was. Not the original 1969. Um, album, uh, I guess, or, or print, but uh, very good. I, I have to give it more time. Um, I am a big Beatles fan from my my mom, uh, my dad, excuse me, is a huge Beatles fan, so he I kind of grew up listening to them, but I have to give this a little more time. Uh, this is uh, Purity Rings. I, I don't know the name of the album. I should really just grab my iTunes really quick, um, but um, really good. It, it's, it's not really what I listen to. It's kind of like a techno album it's just it's just two people from i from canada i think they're they're french canadian but um just uh yeah it's shrines i'm sorry this is shrines um it, i like it though uh it's got a really nice colored vinyl um i think it's like a uh it's basically like this color which is really nice um I, it's tough to really put pinpoint what they sound like uh, or I, I really don't know who to compare them to because i really don't know i don't really listen to anything else like this um they're just like a, a techno type um, you know, computer band, but I, I love the artwork on it. Um, it's just very, it looks like it's, it's like a chalkboard. Um, I, I really like it. Uh, the Lumineers, they were probably my favorite band over the summer. Um, a lot of people know the Ho Hey song. That's, I think it was on a Google commercial, really great folky, you know, acoustic album. Um, just fun to listen to, fun to sing along with, you know, along to in the car. Um, you know, and, and my girlfriend really loved it. Me and my girlfriend don't really agree on music too often. Um, but she was uh, into this, so it was cool to have it over the summer and listen to in the car. Uh, this is Bright Eyes, um, Fever and Mirrors. This is a, a reprint um, from the 2000. The original uh, release of the album was in 2000. I think I got the reprint. It came with the CD as well, which was cool. It was about 25 bucks, which is kind of, um, I'm not going to say it's out of my price range, but you know I prefer to pay less than that. But the quality in it is great. It's, it's dual LP. Um, it's uh, it, it opens up like a storybook, um, has all the lyrics. Like I said, came with the with the with the CD itself. It feels heavy, so you feel like you get your money's worth. Um, not my favorite Bright Eyes album, but um, the only one in my collection right now. Radiohead, The Bends. Um, I, I like this album. Not my favorite by the band. Um, this is before, like I said, okay. I think it was the last one before OK Computer, and they really turned the corner. Um, definitely has some really good songs on it. Uh, the Bends. Um, my Iron Long, Fake Plastic Trees, really good, but I prefer um, more recent um, Radiohead to older. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, Cloud Nothing is my favorite album so far through 2012. Uh, just raw, energetic, uh, really unapologetic. It, it, it doesn't sound like it was overproduced. It, it, you hear, you know, breaks in, in, in um, the vocals and, and just, you know, it's just, it's not a perfect album, but I think that's why I love it so much. It's just, it's 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 punky it's it's just you know abrasive and and raw and honest and it's just it's great i, I love it uh, definitely worth checking out uh this is dives full length ocean uh really really dig this this album uh it's it's kind of like it's like 80s pop but a lot faster um just a, a blast to listen to great guitars everything start to finish it's, it's a great album uh very um minimal lyrics uh, i guess vocals um and just the the you know the spacey guitars the 80 styles and, and it's got a little synth in it just it's great it's, it's a great album uh the graduate soundtrack which is one of my favorite movies of all time i got this at a thrift store for i think a dollar and then on uh, the same day i was actually right after i got my record players the first two records i bought um simon and garfunkel's greatest hits so that's what i got um and uh, I actually, when I was in the, well, I was in Brooklyn the other night. I picked up two boxes of, of I, I would say about a hundred records. People were throwing them out. You had to take them all. The little sign said. So I did. I'm still going through them. Still listening to some. It's mostly garbage, though. I'm probably gonna donate them um, or try and, and sell them to my local record store. So guys, I'll be uh, posting some stuff, um, and uh, you know when I get records, and I'll give you updates. The, uh, Thanks for watching, and hopefully you subscribe, and uh, we get off to a good start here. So thanks a lot, and uh, look forward to watching uh, other videos. Thanks a lot.